Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. As you see today we have a hardware video. I will do unboxing of Kraken X62 all-in-one liquid cooler. Then I will install it in NZXT H440 2015 edition. At the end I will set up BIOS to work with dedicated AIO header. And I will have a look on configuration possibilities in the CAM software. I will show you what temperatures can be expected in Coffee Lake 8700K overclocked to 5 GHz. Both links to cooler and the case are in the description. If you will buy anything after using those links, I will get small commission what helps me to keep this channel up and running. If you don't want to miss any future videos, please subscribe to my channel now. Just click this little icon with the letter D on it. Ok, so let's start unboxing now. Cooler is well packed, but I heard some people got it with the pump already broken. This is a high quality product, but uh, no one has power on what couriers are doing with the parcels. I saw many times how they throw in them without any care. I hope your Kraken will come in a perfect condition same as my one. In the box we have two NZXT fans, SATA power cable to power the pump and the fans, mini USB cable to connect Kraken to the board, Intel and AMD brackets as well as all the screws. Link in the descriptions is to version with AM4 bracket included. We will install the Kraken on Intel Coffee Lake 8700K CPU, so we don't need AMD bracket for now. We need push all mounting holes on the backplate to the inside, as well as we need to use those standoffs for the LGA 1151 socket. Install the backplate on the board in the way shown and screw in standoffs from the other side. Just use your fingers, you will feel there is a loose when you finish, but don't worry, it should be like this. Put fans in place and lock them with the screws. Fans will be loose but they will stay in place when you will screw in the radiator. Simply align corners first and make sure you direct the fans properly. Just make sure that the sticker with logo is directed to the top of the case and this will allow the fans to pull hot air from the case through the radiator. All the cables are already connected and there is nothing left like screwing pump to the board. First, remove the cover from the pump and try to not touch pre-applied thermal paste with anything. Now simply place the bracket on the standoffs and screw it in, first with the fingers and then with the screwdriver. If you are planning to use all 4 RAM slots, please keep in mind that clearance for the first slot is 35mm for most of the boards, so best way to avoid the issues is using low profile RAM. I connected Kraken to AIO header, but I need to turn off fan monitoring of CPU fan in BIOS. Our computer will simply won't let us boot into a system. Ok, and now you can see CAM software and my temperatures on overclocked to 5 GHz 8700 k a CPU under 100% load reaching high 80s when having big voltage headroom to further overclocking. That means my CPU needs to be deleted. But this I will cover in one of my next videos. I think I can drop temperature to 70 degrees by doing that. Please subscribe now to not miss that video. This cooler was able to hold overclocked to 4.7 GHz i3 8350K at low 70s. But with Intel CPUs this is like lottery, as temperatures and voltages are different from chip to chip. And here you can change a color of the logo, I love the red one so I will leave it like this. 
and here you can adjust the settings of the ring. Uh, I like that you can adjust the different color to actual temperature of your CPU. So you can always see what temperature is on and you know right away when something isn't right. And that's how it looks in working system. If you have any questions, please drop a comment and I will do my best to answer as soon as possible. If you think this video was helpful, please hit a like button. If you think that I missed something, please let me know in a comment as well. Thanks for watching and please follow me on Twitter at Let's Play With Dad. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, this keeps me focused and gives me motivation to produce more videos like this one and thank you and see you next time.